Hey guys, so this is Joey or Rowan. Um, I wasn't sure how to f put this video. I've been thinking all day about it. That's why it's been a bit later than I had originally planned. But um, I was having a think about some things and I've decided this video is going to be me moving around on a lot and squeaking. <laughs> um, this video is going to be basically talking a bit about autumn and winter that follows and showing it some love. Um, I mentioned in another video that a lot of people feel, you know, the sort of close down with the um, autumn and winter seasons. They go inward and it's a bit dark and depressing. Now there is seasonal uh, effect, affective affection disorder, SAD, when people are um, truly affected badly by the, the change in the light and that is not something that I'm going to cover it in this video because I'm, I don't know enough about it. I know it exists, I know some people suffer from it, I know vaguely about you can buy um, high quality lamps to help you with in, in, in that sort of season but I'm not going to cover that anymore because I don't know enough about it but um, for the, for the, generally, you know, people generally just feeling a bit um, about the seasons and I thought, well, I never feel like that. I get to autumn and I feel energised, I feel happy, I feel, I you know, raring to go, I feel get up and great and I thought, well, let's have a video, or let me do a video, um, where we, I talk about, you know, Showing these seasons some love and things you can do um, in these seasons and things to think about and keeping it positive basically. So I wanted to say that autumn is my favourite season. Um, I love all the, the colours, I love the leaves falling, I love the reds and golds, I think the trees look more spectacular. To me, at this time of year, they look more spectacular than any other time of year. And people, I think people fall into one or two camps. They're either spring people when everything is coming up and blooming. and I, I mean, I love that too. Don't get me wrong. I love all the pinks and of, of spring. But there's something royally majestic about autumn to me. It's just, like, amazing. And I don't see winter as being barren at all. Uh, there is an element of, of sleep, uh, sleep and hibernation to a lot of things but it's just another part of, of the cycle for me. It's just a time of rest for the earth and I still think there's a lot of beauty to be found. Um, that you still have trees which are evergreen or green all the way through. Um, there, are, there are animals around. Not, every, not everything hibernates. Um, and I think that, you know, the seasons and festivities at this time of the year are, to me, more enjoyable than at any other time of the year. So start. we'll start with autumn and, and talk about winter as well a little. So in terms of celebration, which is one of the easiest ways of, of maybe thinking about celebrating autumn and winter, so celebrating through the festivals, which are representations and draw from nature. Well, you have Maybon, which is tomorrow, um, Autumn Equinox, and all the harvest festivals that are around. And harvest festivals are, are uh, in England anyway. I don't know if they do this in America. In, in England, when we were in primary school, we had har harvest festivals, and everybody brought stuff in that was harvest-themed, and that was all taken for charity. And that was a really really beautiful um, school activity. Going back to school, and I'm, I'm no, I'm probably not in, in the majority, but I used to love it. I used to embrace education. I used to love learning. I'm a bookworm. I love reading. Um, I just loved it. I love going back, seeing all the people again, maybe some you hadn't been able to see over the summer. I used to be up and ready to go. I used to love it. Um, I, I can't say to anybody why they may or not, may not enjoy education. I mean, it's a very personal experience, and if you don't, you don't, I guess. Um, so in England, then we have Halloween, 
that's a reason for all witches to be really, really excited. Um, and in England, we then have Bonfire Night, um, which is oh, uh, it's, it's a celebration of when Guy Fawkes uh, failed to blow up Parliament. <laughs> um, but it's a really beautiful um, autumn activity with bonfire, bonfires, and fireworks and. Um, hot cider and that sort of thing, hot food. It, it's a social gathering and fun celebration. And then of course then you have Yule or Xmas or whatever you want to call it down that part of the year. I understand that after that some people feel a bit blech and I know for a very morbid fact that January is the worst month for suicides. Um, which is why I think once you get into those seasons, because then once you get into January, it might be worth planning something in January to look forward to as well. End of the month, maybe middle of the month. Um, not put all your eggs in the Yule basket. I don't know. Um, save a bit of money, put that aside, or I don't know, do something fun, get together with friends, do a swap with really awful presents or something. I don't know. Um, so, hmm. Hmm. Basically, I think for me, autumn is this really wonderful time. I really love it. There, it. I've said before, but it dials into my soul, and I feel more alive in autumn than I do any of the rest of the year. And tomorrow is autumn equinox. Tomorrow is Maybon. Have a blessed Maybon um, for tomorrow. And I'm excited. <laughs> I love it. I love seeing the little squirrels barrel and. Bar barrel? What on earth is barrel? <laughs> Burrow. Dig little holes, put their nuts away. <laughs> um. I love the autumn leaves falling. I love the crunching underfoot. I love the mistier weather. I love the whole go inside. Uh, with a book and wrap up in a blanket and have a hot chocolate or whatever and I love that um, I mean if you're really really outdoorsy then you might not but there's nothing to say just because it's cold you can't do outdoorsy things there must be outdoorsy things you can do in winter um, presumably not anything gardening but if you have a, I don't know if you have a greenhouse that's kind of I assume you can still do things in there. I don't do a lot of gardening. I can't uh, at the minute. I'm not allowed to interfere with the garden. Um, but I assume you can do all sorts of things. And if you know, if you can't do things like that, then get crafty in other ways. I mean, there's so many things you could do. You could write. You could um, paint. You could draw. You could sing. You could. Uh, I don't know, there's a hundred million different things you can do and maybe this is a really good time for taking up a hobby that you've meant to, that has you haven't done because of, of the summer weather and being outside and yada 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 yada. So maybe you like take this time of year and be like, right, I want to start learning to crochet, knit. Not in my case. <laughs> um, I want to write my book, I want to paint this picture, I want to learn to draw this, I want to learn to make soaps, I want to learn to make incenses, I want to learn x, y and z, I want to read more about this or that or dancing about like a lunatic, you know, <laughs> or I want to learn to cook different recipes, maybe that's something really good to do that I love doing, maybe every week from autumn until spring um you could pick a different recipe and try it out or just have a day where you just bake something and um, you know bake a cake bake a cake <laughs> or try something out that you've always wanted to try i mean there's i don't understand it i don't understand it. there's so many reasons to get excited i mean autumn uh fruits and veg nom 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 um I mean, I personally don't like the heavier foods in general, like uh, casserole. Ugh. Casserole is my most hated of all food stuff. Sorry, people. I know people are going to be like, but I love 
have you done? Blech. Blech, blech, blech. I do not like casseroles or stews and things like that. I'm, I'm, some soups I'm all right with as long as I, I make them. I'm a fussy bugger um, about my, about my food. I'm really fussy. Um, and then again, obviously, I actually prefer Asian uh, cuisine. And my gnome makes a beautiful chili chicken ramen, which is a soup-based dish with noodles. And we've need. I really want to try out this winter pho soup which is a korean dish sort of similar to the um chicken ramen but it has beef in it i think and noodles and mm, 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 mm. so th th there's a dish i'm going to try out this winter so may and you know there is no reason because just because it's colder for everyone to feel feel down about it i mean you know, in the spirit of going back to school, even if you're long past school, spirit of learning something, learn something new, educate yourself about X, Y, and Z. Pick a subject that has always maybe interested you, or you wish you knew more about, or wish you knew more about it, or maybe you know you'd like to maybe start learning a new language, or I don't know. There's, there's so much that you know is a perfect time, and it, it is a time when we go in inward maybe a little but just because it's darker and it's the darker half of the year and that's how things are turning but there is absolutely no reason to get down and out about it there really isn't there are so many uh, reasons to get together with friends and family and celebrate i mean halloween for witches is a big one i i my family my sister and her little boy are going to come see me for halloween I have things planned for Halloween and you're going to see it all um, and you're going to be sick of me by the time Halloween comes you'll be like another Halloween video another one and in every single one I'm going to be like so I've put some really ugly faces which are all going to be my pictures again down below um, but I'm going to make games I'm going to make uh, food stuff I'm going to have a go at making toffee apples um, for Halloween uh, oh, and for Yule, for Xmas, the gnome is on it. <laughs> the gnome does some beautiful cooking, and he's really, really ta <laughs> he's really, really talented at all the foods you really shouldn't have very often. The fattening foods he makes the world's most amazing Bailey's cheesecake with with the alcohol. Oh, and he makes a really, really, really gorgeous tiramisu. And then he makes these hazelnut cookies, which is to die for. And he makes homemade homemade clotted cream fudge. And I'm like, it's so tasty. Uh, he 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 cooks other things as well. Which he does an amazing curry and the soups I've already ramens I've already mentioned. He's amazing at stuff. But all his food is like Christmas themed. A lot of it, and it's like, oh. It's so bad for you calorie wise, but so tasty, so very tasty. So, you know, we come together and we're going to have a great big, we're going to have a proper Christmas dinner, Yule dinner, technically, this year, because we couldn't afford one last year. So, that's some, you know, and, I, and people get really, really stressed out about um, this time of year. I'm like, okay, it. You need to, if it's stressing you out, then you're doing something wrong. As with all holiday days, as with all um, Sabbaths. Right, now, first and foremost, I'm just going to side note this by saying some people get really stressed because they have to put up with family members and they don't get on. And I can understand that. I only have limited amount of people in my life now. Um, but you've got you've to find a way of doing it, pre-planning. Um, I've just trying it enjoy yourself just trying to have fun just try and enjoy your life because otherwise you, you're doing all this stuff you're putting on a dinner you're inviting people around and if you're not enjoying it it's a complete waste of your time and energy so basically this whole video is basically think of things we can do at vr what are you going to do what are you going to do in autumn what are you going to do in winter what make it a really great season you know there's nothing wrong with these seasons wrapping up a bit warmer that's great um, if, if you if you want to put a slant on it like people are like oh well now now we uh 
have to wear more clothing we have to wrap up warm because it's cold and all I can think is yeah but at least you don't get to see uh, <laughs> displays of human flesh which you might rather not see <laughs> Maybe. I, I mean, I, I walk around the village and there are, there are teenage girls who can't be very old, wearing not very much, and all I can think is, is, oh, please, put something on, for goodness sake. You're 12. <laughs> I, get, I get quiet. I, that's a subject I get quite irate about, people dressing too old. And, oh, my God, I sound like an old person. I sound like an old person. I think... Um, what I'm trying to get at that is, I think um, society basically. Um, let's let's do this without getting on rant, right? Society basically pressures young boys and girls to grow up far too fast. They sort of lose their childhood. They don't have um, the opportunity to really play, and they're playing an adult before they're ready for adult. And it's just a whole can of worms that I don't think we need. That yeah, so. So I really love the autumn fashions. I love boots. I love boots. Um, and you get to wear, you know, you get to, if, if you're fashion orientated, you get to pick out a cute scarf, hat and glove set. <laughs> um, <laughs> there, there, there are always positives to be found, basically. And I love this season. So show autumn and winter a little bit of love. They're, they're great seasons. And I hope everyone has a very blessed Maybon tomorrow. I may or may not make videos tomorrow because of how busy I am liable to be. I do want to record um, bits and pieces of me um, making the Maybon roast dinner tomorrow because I want to show you how you can bring in um, a little bit of magic into cooking. Um, we will be having roast chicken tomorrow, so if anybody is um, vegan or vegetarian, I'm just warning you now that I'm not, um, and that will be in that video tomorrow. So um, I'm going to try and record that. I may try and record some other little bits and pieces throughout Maybon Day. I may not be up tomorrow. I've got a lot on tomorrow. Um, it might go up on Sunday. But other than that, I hope... Ooh, I hope you have a very, very blessed Maybon. Um, may the light and dark within you forever be balanced. And, and may you be truly blessed. Many blessings.